Hey, I'm Jason. Today we're going to be taking apart a PowerBook G4. I'm going to take the top case off. Once you get that off, you can pretty much do everything in there. Replace the hard drive, the DVD player, the uh, logic board, whatever you need to. The hard part is just getting the top case off. So, you need a few tools for this. There's going to be a lot of screws and there are going to be a lot of different lengths. So you're going to want some sort of holder. Um, egg, an empty egg carton works perfectly for this. Um, you'll need a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench for the top case. Um, you're going to need one of these, a, a little screwdriver. I love these husky ones. You can get them at Home Depot. They're, they're perfect. Um, and then I use a flat bladed screwdriver for a couple things you'll see. And then for extra credit, you can get some non marring tools, some iPod take apart tools, and they, they'll help you uh, keep your case intact when, we, when it comes to prying on it, which is going to be the, the funnest part. Um, with these power books, a lot of the time they, the cases got dinged up, and so they, they're bent a little bit, so it is kind of even extra hard to pull the case off. This one is really bent up, so it should be quite a, a treat. <laughs> um, anyway, so the first step to taking this apart is close the lid and turn it over, take the battery out. If you're just working with the airport card, it's right here. You just have to open this up, and you can work with it there. There's three little screws in the battery compartment. And a couple of easy ones back here. Take off the RAM door. Next, there's a little black screw up here on top of the RAM. Um, sometimes, for some reason, there's not a little EMI finger here, but sometimes there's a little piece of metal. You just take that off with the screw. This little felt holds the screw down sometimes. Come out of there. There we go. Okay, now there's a couple screws. There's two screws on each side except for the front. So the two shortest ones are by the battery door. I'll see what I mean in a second. Now there's four screws on the back. Um, you want to remove the ones that are closest to the LCD. So from our point of view right now, it's the two bottom ones. And then the two screws over here. Those screws that came out of the back of the LCD part, they're uh, the longest, and these are kind of medium sized. Okay, now we can open this up. Now this gets a little weird because there's a couple screws under the keyboard holding the keyboard on and they're right in between the F1 and F2 and in between the F11 and F12. Um, most places tell you to take off all four of those keys. I hate taking off these keys because sometimes they get brittle. So I'm just going to take off the F2 and F12. Or I guess F11. That was the easiest. Now they're under a little bit of tape here. I'm going to switch my screwdriver to the flat bladed side so I can kind of pull that little sticker off. Same here. Sometimes I've seen people just push really hard and pierce the sticker and they pull it off with the screw. I don't like doing that as much, but you certainly can. Okay. Got 
those screws out. So now we can just lift the keyboard out from the top, push it down, and then it's held on by this little ribbon thing. You want to just kind of gently lever it out. You don't want to be breaking this ribbon cable. Okay, so there's a bunch of screws here and they're different lengths. If you get confused, go to ifixit.com. They have a little, a perfect little guide that circles, you know, these are all the same length, these are another millimeter longer, you know, and it, it's really easy to see what screws go where. Just gonna attack them all here. these two Allens out. This one's a lot shorter. The one on the right here by the power button is pretty long. Now there's three things here that we need to take out. Oh, it's been broken before. I want to gently lever this Molex connector out. I'm not using any pressure to pull that out. I'm just letting it work itself off the pins there. We've got a couple cables here we need to get rid of. Okay, that's everything holding the top case. Now we just need to pry it off. And start with non-marring tools and see how far I get. a little harder with these, a little easier with a screwdriver, but then you get little marks in the outer case. Screwdriver. Nice. Alright, there it is. Here's your hard drive here. You just pull that out, a couple screws that are holding that in. You've got your heat sink and processor under that, your what's that? Bluetooth it looks like, your DVD player. DCN board and got access to everything. There you go. Congratulations.